What's up, everybody, guys? Welcome back to Me and Maroon Touch d i n a tutorial. I'm gonna talk about five great features of Touch d i n a 2022 update. It's changed a lot. I always do tutorial with hands on, but I want you to just listen while cooking, running, driving. Commuting or stuff like that. I'll get to post in g some videos as a podcast like this tutorial. Wouldn't it be great if you could get knowledge without moving your hands? Okay, let's get started. Number one, Vulcan. What is Vulcan? Vulcan is a new graphic API, low overhead, and cross platform. Vulcan targets high performance real time 3D graphic. So, Touch Designer finally adopted. I'm not sure about inside of Touch Designer because I'm not a Touch Designer developer. Anyway, saying overview briefly, Vulcan is a Vulcan is first and high quality. Touch Designer had adopted OpenGL. So let's compare the difference. First of all, the startup screen is a jelly beans box. As you can see, the edge is more smooth, entirely clear. What about particles? The particle in Balkan is more clear, so we can see one particle more clearly than. OpenGL, you know, OpenGL、uh, particles in OpenGL is more, is like a blur. So, yeah, we can feel it is particle. But I think it depends on the work that you want to create. If you want to create more like a blur, blurred works. So, OpenGL is better for you, but、uh, you can more like, you know, if you want to create like、uh, fireworks, I think Vulcan is better. What about 3D models? From this view, I think it is not a big difference from these two. But I close up here. Hmm, it's kind of similar, right? <laughs> If you want to use Vulcan, you don't have to do anything. Open new touch designer, it is built. Number two, comments network box. Node programming has a problem. It's reading or following a code is heard. So the system of leaving comments is so important to solve the problem. But last touch designer is not good for comments because you, can, you can't see whole sentence using text that when you jump in into network editor. New touch designer adopted comment network box by right click add comment. You can group the node by each function and leave some comments. With right click, add network box or annotate, annotate comp. It's so helpful with team development along with external talks. In my perspective, this future is the most crucial update for me. If you have experience of Unreal Engine, Uh, you will realize both are similar. Touch Designer might make one to Unreal Engine. Touch Real Engine might, would be a new name. Just kidding. Number three, WebRTC. WebRTC is an open standard for peer to peer communication on the, on the web. Wait, wait. 
what is peer-to-peer -peer communication? It means the transmission between two computers over a network. Don't be afraid, don't throw up. Saying easier, you can send a video from your webcam or by or message in real time with one computer and another computer and the web browser like Google Chrome and Safari or stuff. It's like a Skype. And Touches in 2022 had a new that for WebRTC. It has a palette as well. It makes a video about WebRTC. So stay tuned. Number four, text update. When you start up Touches in 2022, you might notice something different. The UI in Touches in is high resolution. It will be helpful to read UI when you make interface with some comps. This is a comparison. As you can see, there are massive update. Thanks, derivative. Besides, text comp were adopted. It's replacement for field comp and the text top. We can make multi-line UI seen the operator snips of text comp. Before the update, uh, we couldn't do that. So that massive update, right? And then, GeoText Comp is one of new features. You can control text in three dimensions, more freedom. You can change color by markup format formatting, change it, transform each word by that table. If you want more detail, link in description. Number five, audio VST chop. Finally, you can make music in TouchZen because audio VST chop allows us to generate audio like visual instrument. You need to install a third party plugin to do that. There are many options so you wouldn't decide what you use. Then in that case, HY Poly would be nice. Press the show button, you can see the keyboard, click the bar, you play the music. Like this. Come on Miyamoto, we wanna say goodnight to you. Like that. Actually, it's general to work across digital audio workstation, aka DO, and uh, now touches it. And the uh, plugin can also be controlled by MIDI message via Python function on audio VST chop. If you want to know more detail, let's check this tutorial. And and not playing audio, but also filtering audio. You will notice that audio VST chop is super breaks through as long as you touch the note. So these five features are big deals for Touches in 2022. And then this tutorial are helped by Ben from Derivative. So thanks Ben for giving some advice to me. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye.